was waiting two hours out there. Fascinating. Will you consider it a career as a memoirist? Let's see it. You don't introduce yourself? Sorry, I thought you were waiting two hours. No, you wanted to chat. Hi, I'm Greg. How about that local sports team? It's not an infection. How can you tell without? You want me to touch you? It's your private place. You're chewing nicotine gum, which causes dehydration, which causes wear and tear. Try a lubricant or foreplay if you're cheap. Just take a swab and get it tested, okay? Sorry. I already met this month's quota of useless tests for stubborn idiots. You're rude. Wow, you're like a detective or something. And you're smart. And you're funny. But you are bitter and you're lonely. So you treat everyone around like they're idiots. And you get away with it. Because you're keen. Please stop. It's hard to write through the haze of bitter tears. But you're not actually getting away with it. Last nurse you made fun of, she probably slipped some crap into your coffee. Mm, yeah. I asked for decrapinated coffee. Treat people like jerks. You get treated like a jerk. Dr. House, you guys can talk here. I don't want to sue you. Good. I want to beat the crap out of you. Less good. And I'll tell you why. You're a bully. And uh, bullies, they don't back down until they run into someone stronger and meaner. But you'll accept an apology? Yes. Not really a recipe for sincerity. I'm not looking for sincerity. I'm looking for humiliation. Something that will make you think twice before you treat the next patient like crap. Here's what's gonna happen. You go brag to your friends about how you made the big nasty doctor poop in his pants. I get Cuddy off my back by telling her that I humiliated myself. Here's the catch. We're both gonna be lying. I'm not apologizing. If anything, you deserved a bigger thermometer. You've come to return the thermometer. Don't bother. I've moved on. If you'd actually read my chart, you'd have known that I'm a cop. You were going 40 out of 25 zone. Oh, come on. This isn't because I was speeding. This is because I'm Latino. License, registration, proof of insurance. <sighs> Sorry. Cool jacket. Only pockets for important stuff. That's a shame. 50 buck ticket. Is that your way of beating me up? Or is that just the price for sticking something in you? You took a pill while you were examining a patient. That's serious, addictive behavior. I'm betting that you're holding right now. I wasn't weaving. I'm not drunk. You've got no reason. Pupils dilated. Appeared to be under the influence of a narcotic. Would you mind turning around, please, putting your hands behind your head? <laughs> is that polite crap ever work on people? Most people realize there's only one answer. 
Got a prescription? I'm a cripple who works in a hospital. You don't think I can get a valid prescription? Arrogant son of a bitch like you? Oh, I bet you didn't bother. You are under arrest for possession of narcotics. You have the right to remain silent, which you should take advantage of for once in your life. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and 